Welcome back everyone, today we will take a look on how to uh, create mail merge You will need to uh, you will need two files to get started with this lab You will need uh, Word Lab 8 instructions and you need uh, an Excel workbook or an Excel sheet that is called datasource.xlsx So please make sure that you download these two files, have them available, open them and I will do the same thing So. Basically, you will need to make sure that you have these two files here. You just open uh, the instructions and that's a simple lab. You, you really like it. Very effective, very important. Uh, in the future, uh, you will see many uses of this uh, lab, especially in a business environment. So basically, uh, the first part here, it says open a, a blank uh, document. So I will go ahead and uh, open a, a blank uh, document as it says here by pressing control N and now I need to position this document to the left side because that's my solution and the instructions to the right side save it as Word Lab 8 so I'll go ahead and click on file and save as and then computer and then Microsoft Word Labs and then I will call it Word uh, lab uh, 8 and then I will go ahead and click save I already did it before so uh, I will just replace the uh, existing one uh, use the data uh, source.xlsx as the data source for your mail merge first you need to go to mailing so to finish this lab you go to mailing and then you uh, click on let me maximize this so you see exactly uh, how this is uh, being done you click on uh, select recipient and then you use existing uh, list and then you go to the location of your file uh, I have it on my desktop for ease of access and then you click OK and now please make sure that you click on uh, read the go ahead and take this one back to the left side and then read the instructions it says edit the recipient list to confirm that the data was important to your document so I will go to uh, mailing and then I will click on edit recipient list here this is the data so the Excel sheet that we imported or we used as, uh, as data source has this information inside it so I will go ahead and click OK uh, Start a size 10 inches envelopes mail merge so I will go ahead and click on start mail merge and then I will choose envelopes and I will choose the 10 inches just give it a minute here uh, size 10 actually it's a size 10 so I will go ahead and uh, uh, click on OK and that will uh, start my uh, mail merge uh, in the first top section here, you will put your first name, your last name, your street address. For example, I will go ahead and uh, make up uh, an address here. Uh, one, two, three, main street. And then the, uh, let's say it is in big uh, stone gap. And then I will go ahead and uh, uh, the state and the zip code. Alright? And the, so uh, in, in, uh, this is an envelope, basically. And in any envelope, you have in the upper left uh, corner of the envelope, you put your address, right? And then in the middle section, that's why when you click in the block, what happened? When I click on the upper left corner of my envelope, it activates the place where you put your address. So this will be standard for all of the envelopes that you will create. It will not change. The one that will change, the one that will go in the middle, because let's say you are in a company and you have... 1000 customers and you have a list of these customers in the excel sheet that we just uh, used as a data source for example but for this scenario i'm just creating uh, maybe eight or seven uh, customers so you can get the idea of how to do it and in the future you can have more customers as you wish uh, in this here it says insert mail merge field uh, fields as depicted in the image below so you need first name last name in one line state in one line city state zip code in a line by itself so i will go ahead and click on uh, insert merge field and then I will go ahead and click on uh, first name and then insert alright then I will come here take a space insert again uh, actually if you go to the down arrow it's easier so again press enter what is next straight you look at the instructions 
street so this is a generic name for what will get displayed once you finalize this uh, list a city and then take a space down arrow and then a state a space uh, actually if you would like to put a comma after the city you can and then after the state you can put a dot and then a space and then insert another field which is the zip code all right so basically if you click it says here preview the result for each record so you click on preview and then you keep swapping you keep you click next record next record until you see all of them uh, see the uh, your address doesn't change but the recipient address will it change to reflect the uh, uh, person who will receive uh, this mail uh, once you click on finish and merge and then choose edit individual documents and then click on all and then choose ok look what you get you get this nice this nice file here with all of the mail merge inside it all of the envelopes so again uh, do I need to change anything just save and upload so basically what you need to uh, save and upload this one here envelopes one because that's that's the your submission for this lab I need to see all of the envelopes so basically you will uh, save this one here save as and then save it as uh, uh, word lab 8.docx uh, I, uh, I prefer to have the one that has all of the envelopes separated so please uh, you can disregard uh, this one here and the new generated envelopes one you save it as Microsoft Word Lab 8 so I will type here Word Lab 8 so that's the new one and then save and you replace the one that you have but it will not let you replace it until you uh, close the actual file so I will go ahead and click on OK here and then I will go to the file I'm glad this is happening you uh, cancel here and then you go to your word lab 8 close this one I will click on save and then I will uh, save one more time under computer Microsoft Word Labs uh, word lab uh, 8 and then click on save replace the existing one and now it will replace it and that's basically what I expect you to submit uh, to make it even better you can zoom out so I can see all of the envelopes that you generated as you see here you can go to uh, view and then choose multiple pages perfect and then zoom uh, zoom out one more time until you display all of the envelopes like I showed you uh, in the uh, sample solution so basically that's what I expect you to uh, submit for uh, this lab and if you look here in the instructions at the very bottom here you will see here is a sample solution after you zoom uh, out but if you don't want to zoom out that's fine this is just a sample solution to show you how your envelope should look uh, like uh, that takes us to the end of this lab I really wish that you uh, did learn something new today what is the topic that was called Mail Merge. Thank you everyone and I'll see you in the future.